Golf mates, welcome down to another video. You are going to learn something very fast. Also, in this video, your handicap is going to come down, guaranteed. Absolutely, yeah, simple changes. So this is Adam Lent. We're at Caris Green, and we've got eBay Pete. He's a 17 handicapper on this call. And you reckon, within 15 minutes, he's going to lose two or three shots of his handicap. Yeah, if he listens. Adam and Pete are going to take it away. Here we are in the putting studio at Caris Green. We're having a look at your putting today. Right. So, playing off 17, is that yeah. right? Yeah. How do you like putting? Quite enjoy it, but yeah. not the greatest. Feel like you could improve a little bit? Absolutely. Right, it's one of the easiest, easiest ways of dropping shots of your round is holding a few more putts. Correct. So we've got the sand putt lab here today. We're yeah. going to get you on that, have a little look at technique, have a look at some of the numbers, and then we're going to go up to the putting green at the top and we'll have a look at some putts that break. Right. Sounds, okay. sounds good. So first things first, Pete, you've hit a few putts, haven't you, on here? Yeah, you know yeah, the speed, yeah. the sensor feels slightly different, so yeah. you know how that feels. I just need you to hold the putt up against this metal bar for me. You got a nice line on that putter. Did you put that on yourself? Yes, I did. Did you put it on straight? Yes, I put I used a square on it. There you go, very good. Right, so I just need you to hold that there nice and steady. Yeah. That putter's flat on the floor. I'm just gonna lift it up just a little bit. So when that's flat on the floor, it's more there, yeah? So yeah. if you could just hold it there for me, good. And relax. Okay, so if you have a little look underneath this metal bar, can you see there's that red dot? Yes, can see the red dot, yeah. Just want you to put the ball on top of the red dot yeah. And I want you to hit seven putts to this hole here. Now, what yeah. I don't want you to do is look to see where it goes. Okay, so I'm going to knock them out of the way. The reason for that, once you've lined it up and everything, if you start seeing a miss one way, you're going to change what you do. Right, so you don't want me to look up? No, nope, just aim the putter, hit the putt, keep your head down. I'm going to knock them out of the way right. anyway. All okay. right. Good. Okay, good. So, seven putts, they feel pretty normal for you? Yeah. Okay, good. So, let's have a little look now. Before we start, would you say you have a miss? Yes. Right, left, long, short? Both ways, for a while. Both ways? Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, good. <laughs> I wouldn't say I've missed them short. I don't think I've been short. So, pace pretty good. Just yeah. um, So, this is uh, how the sand putt lab measures. You've got red, amber, yeah. and green. Right. Now, off 17, to see green, that's very good. Yeah, Yeah. Right. So, you've got yeah. tendency, which is aiming. Yeah. Timing, which is stroke. Yeah. Consistency, that's consistency of everything. Yeah. And then you've got overall, which is overall score of everything. Right. So yeah. to see you in the amber for, for all of it, and certainly the overall, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah, right. Now, if we've got the tendency in the green. Yeah. The timing in the green. Yeah. And the consistency in the amber, which you can see is quite a bit lower. Yeah. That's what we're going to have to work on. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that links into what you were saying. You can miss both ways. There's no yeah. consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Now, just having a quick look at the putter, you you told me that you cut it down. Yeah, yeah, I did. But you don't know how much? No, can't remember. Okay, so Sorry, I put sure. it in the uh, the Loft and Line machine before, Yeah, and it's actually a really upright putter because you've obviously cut it down to such right. a small length, yeah. um, which might be the perfect length for you. That's absolutely fine. Yeah. But we might just have to have a little look at that as well. Tweaking the line okay. on the loft, yeah. The first thing it gives us is face aim. Yeah. Which is 0 0.5 closed impact, yeah? Yeah. Now, that's not too bad. Less than a degree offline. Yeah, right. So that's pretty good. Direction face at impact is 0.4 closed. Yeah. And you can see that's really consistent. Yeah. Yeah, so that's not necessarily something we want to be working on, yeah? Now, the one thing I see here is the consistency is low on aim to impact, so how much that face is changing. Yeah. Yeah, so sometimes it's changing quite a bit and sometimes yeah. it's not, so we can have a little look at that. This is what's dropping you down, the strike. Yeah. Okay, now do you feel sometimes you don't quite strike it in the middle? Yeah. True. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay, good. Rotation, a little bit inconsistent, which we're going to have a talk about. Yeah. Launch, this is more to do with the put a fit inside of it, which we'll also have a little look at. And then the dynamics, all pretty good, yeah? yeah. So that's how you're actually hitting the putt yeah. speed if you're yeah. hitting it or hitting it soft. So that's pretty good. So first thing I want to just show you is if you could just set up to a ball yeah. and hold it for one second, yeah? If I just show you this now. So does that look like it's in the middle of the putter to you? No, it doesn't actually. Okay, so set up again. Okay, so if I show you this. Yeah. And you see here how it's not oh, quite yeah. in the middle as well. All right, yeah? yeah. And then look at this, the first one. You can quite clearly see oh, yeah, it in the yeah. middle. Yeah? yeah. So that's obviously gonna gonna affect where you strike it because we know the putter's not going that far offline. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So just before we do anything, I'm just gonna pull this off. That's about right there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. that's right. better, yeah. yeah. Now I actually showed Liam this a bit ago. Yeah. If we line the ball up with that line on the putter, yeah. it makes it a lot easier to aim it out the middle. 
Yeah. Yeah, so first things first, I just want you to take a couple of putts like that. Good. Well, that's probably my fault because I think I aimed it a little bit left there, but did that feel more central the straight? Yeah, it did actually. So if it I certainly look, sounded it. So if I line that up. Yeah. Basically with the. So with this put it straight, so we just want to aim straight at the hole. I do line them up on the course actually. Yeah, good. Yeah. Good. Much more central, mm -hmm. yeah? yeah? Right, now, second thing I want to show you is if you stand here for me. Yeah. We're just going to put to this hole behind, yeah? Yeah. So if you line the ball up, take your time, and then set up and hold it again. Not sure if that's on, actually. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then hold it there. Right, so that's out the middle now. now does that yeah. feel, does that put a feel flat on the floor for you? No, it doesn't, actually. It looks like it's up at the... Bit toe up. Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah, it is, yeah. yeah. Now, that's probably because we've cut it down. Yeah. So we might have to, you can see... That's ah, right, going yeah. Under. Yeah. This side. Yeah. It's going right under. Yeah. yeah. So if you just watch the putter again, sorry. Um, yeah. And then bear that in mind now, if you lift your hands up, that yeah. feels uncomfortable, doesn't it? It does, yeah. It's not going to feel comfortable. Yeah. yeah. So what we're going to have to try and do, which will improve strike as well, is we'll, we'll change that putter yeah, a little just bit. Just give that a. Just bend it, yeah. Yeah. So just hit a couple more putts for me. Good. Does that feel quite strange aiming it out the middle more? Or? Yeah, I think it is, yeah, because I'm just used to... I think I do the same with my hands, you know. Yeah, yeah. To, to be honest with you. Okay. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. So, if we're talking about your putting, yeah? When this putter, are you trying to take that putter straight back and straight yeah. through? Yeah. Yeah, so you're getting quite over it. Your yeah. eyes are over the yeah. ball. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, yeah. I like that style of, yeah. of putting. Now, when you put, do you ever feel the face open and close or not? Not really. No. You're just trying to keep it as straight yeah, back yeah. and as straight through. Yeah, good. So the putter's always going to open a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Now, depending on how much we arc the putter, yeah. depends on how much toe hang we need. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, this putter is face balanced, yeah. which suits you yeah. perfect. Yeah. So what we want to do is we want to keep focusing on aiming it out the middle. Yeah. What I'm going to quickly do is just change a line angle on it. Yeah. Just so we can try and get that toe a little bit yeah. more down. Yeah? yeah. Happy with that? Perfect. Good. Yeah. So you can see there, just yeah. the fitting profile says face balance. It doesn't even give yeah. you really an option of right. of a toe hang. So yeah. that, I mean, you're using the right putter. Yeah. So first thing we need to change as well is the loft. So yours is five degrees, yeah. which um, we checked before. You need three. Yeah. And then 70 lie angle. Now, that definitely needs to change yeah. because this is 74. Right. Yeah. So we're yeah. going to change it, change yeah. it about four degrees, which is just going to make it more comfortable for you to set up with. Yeah. yeah? If you set up now, you'll probably, well, you will notice quite a big difference. Oh, yeah, you can feel it. Can you see that? Mm. I can feel that now. So now what you can do with that putter is set up with the putter. Yeah. So the first thing we're going to talk about up, up when we go and yeah. talk about some green reading is we should always aim the putter first. Yeah. yeah. Now, what I would allow yourself to do before you've even got your feet in line, yeah. I'd be, if I borrow your putter, yeah. I'd be making sure it's flat on the floor, floor. there, yeah. and then taking your stance, stance. around it, because yeah. we know now, with your putting, it's set up absolutely perfect yeah. to be flat. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, I knew that I was actually aiming. Aiming so, there, yeah. yeah. So, Right, now, if you set up, let's use our, our coins again. Sure if you can see now, can't get them under at all. Yeah. Yeah, certainly we had about three pound of there, no yeah, chance. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can just see that's a bit more confidence that that putter's got the right loft and lie on it. Yeah. Good. Yeah, so does that feel better? It, do, it feels better, yeah. Miles yeah. better. Good. Did you say something about the loft on it as well? Yeah, so I changed it from five to oh, three. Oh, you've done that? Yeah, I've changed right. it. So what yeah. does that do? So basically what happens with the ball, yeah. certainly on a surface like this, yeah. is you hit the putt. Yeah. It's, it, jumps. it jumps a little bit, yeah. and then it bounces, and then the friction causes it to skid, right. and then it starts rolling. Right. See, when you hear people saying, yeah. get it rolling as fast as you can, it's never going to roll straight off the face. Yeah. Yeah, it's always going to have a little bit of a jump, a yeah. little bit of a skid, and then roll. But the more loft it's got, it's going to yeah. jump Yeah, so up. it's going to jump higher, yeah. and it's yeah. going to bounce higher, right. and then it's going to skid, and then yeah. it's going to roll. Super. Yeah. So that's why we changed that. Yeah. yeah. So just take a couple more putts from me. Just, can I, I want can you go to, that one? Yeah, of course you can. Just... Uh, do us a favour and aim these ones now so we can get it right out the middle of the putter. Right, so match the lines up. That's yep. good. Trust it. Good. It was end over end, so you must have aimed it there, yeah? Yeah. Good. Right yep. in the middle. Yep. Yeah. 
So you're happy with that? So that's yeah, just a brilliant. bit of adjustment to the putter. Yeah, brilliant. I'll just take that tape off for you. Yeah. So putter's absolutely fine for you now, and now right. it's actually fitted. So if you've yeah. come wanting a, a brand new putter, it, it would be pretty similar to that, so you wouldn't really need to change. Yeah. You like the thinner grip you mentioned, you yeah. like the fat one. Yeah, absolutely fine. Yeah. So that's ready to go. So what we'll do now is we'll jump up to the uh, putting green and have a look at some putts that break. Right, Pete, we're outside now. A bit more realistic. Yeah. Obviously, no put out there is going to be perfectly straight like in the putting room. Correct. So, I put a few balls there. What I want you to do now is really focus on lining the ball like we talked about inside yeah. and aiming the line on the ball with the line that you put on your yeah. putter. Yeah. Hit a few putts and let me see what happens. Okay, good. So, you've just hit two putts there. Yeah. yeah. Now, what is the pace of these greens like what you're used to playing on? They're a little bit faster. Yeah. Okay. Now, both of them have missed low side. Yeah. Okay, so you've mentioned inside that you can miss both ways. Yes. Now, would that be quite a common miss to see it maybe over breaking or not breaking enough? Well, I've, I've obviously not seen as much breaking that as yeah. I thought it was. Okay, yeah. so what we're going to do now is I want yeah. you to really make sure aiming out the middle of the putt like we talked about, because both of them putts, I don't know if you saw, they were end over end, they yeah. rolled really well. Yeah. So if they've rolled really well and they've ended up past the hole. Yeah. It's the wrong putt. Yeah, wrong game. Right. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going to put a tee peg in for you. Yeah. And I want you to aim for the tee peg and totally forget about the hole. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I reckon about here. Yeah. Now, how does that look to you when you stood behind it? That looks perfect. Yeah. Obviously. So let's aim the ball at the tee peg now. Completely forget about the hole. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Now, did you see how that's further right than you aim? Yeah. To start off with, but it's gone in exactly the same yeah. place. Didn't trust it. Yeah. There you go, much better. Yeah. Yeah. So on that one there, you forgot about the hole. Yeah. The hole's not there. You aimed at a tee peg. Tee peg. Yeah. Yes. Now on the golf course, if you look on, around anywhere on the green, there's always little marks. Yeah. Yeah. So you can look for a mark rather than a tee peg, yeah. and then you want to forget about the hole. Yeah. Okay. So what happens if you're sort of aiming out here and then you look at the hole? You might doubt yourself from yeah. this angle. Yeah. And then you think, oh, that's not right, and then you pull it. Yeah. Yeah. Now there's one more thing to talk about when you're talking about breaking putts. So we've got the line. Yeah. What's the next one? Pace. Pace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So Correct. you could aim at that hole and you could absolutely smash it. It might go in, yeah. yeah but the chance that it's just going to go could straight be, over the top or lip out. Yeah. yeah. So what we've got to try and do on this line now, just like that one before, is let it die in the hole. Yeah. Yeah. So we want that final yeah. roll right in yeah. the hole. And you want this to die in, do you? Yeah. So dead pace. It's looking good. Trust it. Okay. Good. Now on that line, that was pretty much dead pace. Yeah. What do we need to do now? Just. Aim further right, yeah? Aim further right, obviously. Oh, watch that ball. <laughs> Peter, so, can, Peter can't do this on the course, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> balls, yeah. have a few more goes. Yeah. Good, so I want you to aim at that tee peg now and hit exactly the same putt. Now, I just want you to set up and hold it, yeah? Okay. Yeah. Now, if I hold the putt here, yeah. you come and check where it's aiming. So you come behind now and have a look. Can you see how you're not quite trusting that aim? Yeah, You've correct. aimed the ball perfect, yeah. but you want to be there, yeah? yeah? Right, yeah. go see how much better that roll yeah. is as well yeah so once you've aimed that ball when you're stood over it here yeah i want you to really trust it yeah yeah even if it, you just completely forget about the hole you've taken the time to aim the ball yeah you've taken the time to aim the putter to the ball just trust yeah you just got to trust, trust it. it yeah yeah there you go pete what do you think of that brilliant i'm impressed about the putter's not right for you and there's one good thing Straight away, go and get your putter checked. Big up to Adam Lynn here at Carry Screen. If you want him for a lesson, it's going across. See you soon in the next video.